Hey guys, welcome back to Foil Fridays. This is Tucker. Uh, today I got a quick unboxing for you. I rolled in this morning to the shop and found that our long-awaited new Neopride Glide Surf Foils have arrived. And I uh, just wanted to show you guys some of these. We were involved in uh, some of the um, you know, recommendations to how to build this foil and seeing it come and in excellent form is, is really exciting. We've been testing these things and they are really awesome. Excited to tell you about them. And uh, so let's dig into it. I'll just do a quick unboxing, build it for you. Uh, as we're doing that, I'll kind of talk you through some of the benefits, some cool stuff that's going on with this foil and just give you guys a quick intro. And then uh, once we get out, get a little bit more time to do you know, some riding shots and more in-depth review, we'll really organize our thoughts, get a good uh, in-depth blog for you and shoot another video with some of that more, uh, more of that Rigo magic that you typically get. Uh, but we were super excited. This thing just kind of, bam, quick really released. They weren't even supposed to uh, really get this out there yet, but uh, we'll give you a short and sweet and uh, just kind of tell you what's cool about it. So get ready for uh, kind of a quick and dirty overview of this NP Glide Surf Oil. All right, so one of the cool things about this foil that I've already discovered opening up the box is that number one, the assembly instructions, they're really straightforward and uh, you know kind of well documented there to tell you what goes where because um, there are a number of screws in this setup for different reasons. You want to make sure you get it right. So definitely you know pay attention to that. We've got our hardware here and all of this hardware uses Torx, it's all the same size key. So get a really good positive hold, those things aren't going to strip. And one Torx key does it all. One tool for all this it does include board hardware, as well as uh, washers for shimming the rear wing, and extra hardware for when you're using windsurf mounts. Uh, so we're not gonna be using these today with the, the top plate mount. But if you are setting it up on a different kind of a box, a, a Tuttle Deep Tuttle Power Box, um, you name it, and uh, you can use those to attach that different top plate uh, rather than that track box uh, track, uh, plate mount. So that will allow you to do that. Let's uh, start opening this thing up. I'm super excited to see how it turned out and share with you guys how we're going to build this. So it comes in this nifty box here, you guys can see it, it's got cutout foam, everything sitting in there nicely so it's really uh, well padded, not going to arrive damaged or uh, shaking around, getting scratches all over it, stuff like that. I'd recommend hang on to this foam, they're actually going to be making a travel case that you can drop this foam block into and use it to carry your stuff around, go on airlines, what have you. Um, so keep this thing, do not throw it away. It's a lot of foam and it's really useful, so hang on to this. It's, uh, it's an awesome way to, to carry your foil around if you're traveling and stuff. All right, let's get into it. First here I have the small wing, or the small uh, Glide Surf here. Uh, they've also got a medium and a large size. The Glide Small is going to be really awesome uh, for kiteboarders, uh, lighter weight uh, surfers, and you know people riding a little larger waves as well as wake surfers really you're gonna be into this wing it's it's small but as you can tell you know not that small nice and thick good anhedral curve here and just a a real straightforward clean wing design uh, the wing is quite light although it's you know really well built here all the curves and everything all the finishing is just really nice and and strong the wing tips are strong which is nice don't need to worry about you know those cracking too easily and uh, yeah these things just look really good and clean the small comes with the small rear wing so we've got our anhedral rear wing here got just a, a little bit of bend in the wing tips kind of a nice subtle touch there um, 
you know, just for the little bit of extra bite there on the tip. And, you know, again, lightweight, super strong. The foil is really clean and well built. Um, really excited about these. This is a small rear wing. They also do make a large rear wing. And um, all these wings are really affordable. Uh, one of the most affordable wings and, and wing sets on the market. So it's a great way to get in if you're going to be buying multiple wings. Um, the large size uh, complete actually comes with the small and the large rear wing. The small and the medium just come with the small. Uh, they found the, the small just works best with those wings, whereas the large, you know, you might want to fine tune the performance a little bit with either a small or a large rear wing. Um, so there's a rear wing. We've got our fuselage here. This is the NP Surf fuselage. It is solid aluminum and looks quite similar to the NP um, Flight Aluminum Windsurf fuselage. It's not the exact same. Um, very similar in terms of total length. The rear wing uh, area is very similar. This front wing section, however, is very different. This will not take the windsurf front wing. Um, I've actually got one right here, and you can see you know, they're, they're quite different in that front wing section. Um, although, if you'll notice, the bolts and the mast uh, recess here is going to use the same mast profile. So, you can use uh, the same mass across these two different uh, systems here. So you could put you know, a windsurf wing set and fuselage onto a surf mast um, or vice versa, you know, a, a surf fuselage and wing set onto the windsurf mast. Uh, so it's cool that uh, you know, it's got some cross-board compatibility there. You know, not totally uh, compatible with one another, but uh, you know, sort of halfway. So if you're already a windsurfer, you have that foil, or you're wondering, you know, am I going to be able to get a 36 inch, uh, you know, mass for that? Yeah, you can um, with the aluminum, the flight aluminum system. So um, everything about this is really solid, well designed, sleek. Um, you know, this thing does not flex under stress. Um, it's got three bolt connection, which is really solid. And, you know, these, these kind of uh, recessed areas for the wings to set in really, you know, lock that down and that thick flat platform there is going to transfer energy really well. So really cool, you know, well-built fuselage here. Uh, getting into the mast, all of the glide surf are going to come standard with the plate mount. Uh, this is really, you know, standard across the industry now with the uh, 90 millimeter spacing, track boxes. They're really strong, uh, they're adjustable, you know, just easier to deal with. And, uh, you know, so that's one that it comes with. You'll notice it does have a male to female connection on these. So that, that connection is really strengthened a lot uh, by that and is going to increase that rigidity across the plate. Um, one other thing that we recommend, you know, with any collar to mass connection is using a little bit of blue Loctite uh, just to make sure that doesn't wiggle free at all. Uh, it keeps it nice and tight. That'll keep your, you know, foil performing at its highest level. And uh, you can kind of see in there sort of a unique system they've come up with. Um, and that also allows you to change the top plate um, to be compatible with a number of different windsurfing boxes. Um, so you windsurfers won't need to buy, you know, an entirely new board all the time uh, to be compatible with this. Um, you can just change that top plate uh, to whatever box that you'll be using. Uh, you just want to make sure that, you know, it's nice and strong so it can put up the forces of, of foiling. But uh, yeah, it, it is a, a great foil. You'll notice the profile of the mast here is very thick. It's quick, very sleek um, and strong. This thing is really rigid. Um, some issues you can have with some aluminum foils is that you'll have some flexing of the mast and 
you know, it just makes them feel a little bit tippy, a little uneasy as you're riding them, even at higher speeds where you get, you know, generally gain a lot of stability, um, you know, flexing mast can cause, you know, just, just some of a loss of performance, loss of that stability, that really feeling of confidence and, and efficiency flying through the water. So this thing is really solid. That thicker profile is really sleek and, uh, you know, it's just a great mass. Um, can't say enough about it, so it's really rad. Um, and we can start building this. Um, another little nice touch they have is it's a, an included stuck on pad here. So this, uh, it's kind of like a rubber pad is going to, you know, really lock down tight to the board, not, not slide around and, uh, you know, become loose. And, and it also kind of dampens some of the minor vibrations between the board and the, uh, and the foil. Um, without you know scratching up the board anytime you get raw aluminum on top of fiberglass it's gonna be kind of a, a raw connection there so that pad is a nice little touch let's get this thing put together here get our tools first I like to do the mast we're gonna have these two screws here and just follow the assembly manual to do that and you'll notice kind of what's going on here we've got a longer shaft here and in a loop or a smaller collar there these shorter ones going to drop into that shorter connection and the longer one into the longer connection here with this plate in the, uh, the front edge of the mast here let's get these started And again, you know, it's it's a minor detail, but these these really high quality Torx uh, screws that are holding this foil together are are not cheap. Um, they're they're a nice touch um, from NP standpoint to really you know value the quality of that screw. And you know, there's nothing worse than when you're going out wanting to have a, a nice session and you strip a screw and you can't get it tight enough and then it's oh crap i got a strip screw i can't get this thing out um, now i gotta drill it out or tap out on it and you know it just turns uh what could have been a, a fun session into kind of a nightmare so nice long handled wrench here you can get some good torque on these and they're solid in there check that make sure we're not vibrating around and as I had said before a little bit of blue Loctite on these mass bolts will keep them you know from making themselves loose over time you know if you get them nice and tight it's not much of a problem but over time they can kind of slowly wiggle themselves loose in there so it's our mass connection next we will do our wings on our fuselage here. And that's going to happen with these three screws here. And that's going to happen with these three screws here. There's a lot of meat here um, where these screws are connecting. And um, that does you know, a couple of things. Number one, just increases the durability of this wing. Um, you know, obviously you always want to avoid sandbars or running into things, but you know, sometimes that can surprise you, especially at a beach break, if you're riding small waves. Um, you know, if you end up bumping up on a sandbar, um, the stronger that front wing connection is here, the thicker that portion is, the less likely it is to break. Um, Additionally, a little bit of paint in here. Uh, additionally, the thicker connection there increases rigidity across the wing. So, you know, the transfer of energy here is going to be more taut uh, and, and more rigid, um, which just you know adds to a feeling of more stability, more more performance, more reliability. Um, so when you really lay into it, you're feeling confident and what you're doing it's not going to feel wobbly and again you know the quality of construction here the way those screws 
lay flush with the wing is really nice. You know, they're not deep into the cavity causing, you know, extra turbulence. They're not really sticking up high, you know, where they're gonna cause, you know, drag and, and an interruption to the flow there. Just that classic Neopride, you know, quality attention to detail is, is evident here. Now we've got our rear wing here. It's going to tilt down as well. So they're both anhedral curves. So tilting down towards the ocean floor as you're riding or towards the uh, lake floor, what have you. Um, we've got these little bitty screws here. Those are the ones that are going to go from the wing into the fuselage. Uh, another little nifty bit they, they give you here is a shim washer. So what you do with this is it's going to put either on one of these screws and it changes the angle here. So if you're putting it underneath this screw, that is decreasing, uh, or excuse me, if you put it in front of the front screw, that is going to be um, increasing the angle of attack for this rear wing. Um, it's kind of hard to think of this way. So if you flip it over, so if you're adding a shim here, you're increasing the angle that drives this wing up. If you add it on the, the back edge of the, the wing here, you're flattening out that la lift so it's going to fly a little bit more level. The, the lift isn't going to be as aggressive. You're not going to have as much lift. So at higher speeds or in bigger waves, uh, that's a nice way to go to kind of mellow out that lift. Um, for most riders in most situations, just no, no washer at all. Just go you know, straight from the wing right into the fuselage. That's where it's going to ride best for most conditions and people. Um, but if you're finding you want a little bit more lift, a little bit of extra padding underneath this front wing is going to increase that lift, increase the angle of attack for the rear wing or behind the rear wing, level that out a little bit, flatten that out, increase your top speed, just kind of mellow out that lift. So today I'm not going to use the washer, but it is nice that they're included in case you do want to do that. Just using the same Torx wrench across the whole foil from everything from the wings, fuselage, the mass, the collar attachment, even the board screws um, in, in track hardware which are included in this foil. It's a nice Nice bit of information there that can cost, you know, extra money from other brands if, if they're not included or if they're not included with your board that you purchased. Um, so it is a nice touch and, and being that they're Torx, you can do it everything with one tool when you're headed down to the beach or going on a trip. So there is our complete wing set. It is, again, really nice, you know, just straightforward thoughtful design, rigid, um, really good stuff. The small, medium, large sizes are going to cover, you know, the, the majority of range for most riders and in, in riding types. Um, the only thing I, I haven't seen from them yet, that is, um, is like an extra large wing for downwind sup riding um, in that kind of thing. But, you know, for surfing, for sup surfing, uh, wake surfing, kiteboarding, you know, these three wings are going to cover the vast majority of, of what mo most people need to do. Uh, you can get the job done with one wing. Most people, you know, ideally probably have two if you're riding in a range of size, uh, range of weight, uh, excuse me. If you're riding in a range of uh, wave sizes or behind the kite in a, a variety of speeds and wind speeds. So our final connection here is going to be to the foil. And actually, before I put this on, let's, let's just take another look at this mast and uh, you know how well it's constructed. It is a long, sleek mast, but as you can tell, there's a lot of structure there. You know, this this these ribs are quite thick. There's a lot of aluminum there, although it's it's not overly heavy. So, just a really solid mast. 
got our connection here. We're going to go three bolts into the mast. This hole here is for draining water. Um, most aluminum masts, even if they're capped, are going to get some amount of water in them, especially after continued use. Um, you know, those, those caps do well for a while and they end up failing a little bit. Uh, then they end up, you know, gaining water and leaking out. So since this is a hollow mast, just include a little hole here to help drain that water out when you're done. And that way it's not all over your car at the end of the day. You'll notice from all my screws here, I do have these wrapped in pipe threading tape or Teflon tape. Uh, that's what we do recommend for every foil. Um, the Teflon tape is not included in this package. So you can buy this at most grocery stores, hardware stores, online, you know, you name it. They're about a dollar for a roll that'll last you a year or two. Um, you know, always keep your, your screws in good condition. A little bit of marine grease in combination with Teflon tape is really, you know, kind of the best way to go for corrosion resistance and that way things aren't getting seized up. And of course, you always want to take apart your foil on occasion just to clean those out and make sure things aren't getting seized up in there, getting locked down too much or you're not going to be able to get it apart. But if you're using marine grease and your, uh, your Teflon tape, that shouldn't be a problem. Tighten these down nice and good. So there we are, our complete Neil Pride Glide Surf foil. This is a really fun foil. Can't say enough about it. You know, the design is simple, um, yet really effective and durable. Um, the affordable uh, replacement or, or upgrade wings for different sizes are some of the most affordable and, and well-built. Uh, in the industry here. Um, not overly heavy as a complete setup in terms of aluminum foils is actually on the light side of things. Uh, this complete foil, depending on the size wings you've got, is under 10 pounds, so you know, 9.5 to like 9.8 pounds. Um, so quite lightweight and you know a lot of that is in that heavy duty mast. Um, so not a ton of swing weight down here. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but you know, just can't say enough about this foil. It's well built. Um, taking them uh, a while to come to market with this, but we're really excited about it. And uh, yeah, it just really opens up the opportunity to more people, um, and, and uh, you know, giving an excellent performing foil at a great price. So, if you have any questions at all, as always, feel free to reach out to us here at uh, Matt Kite. Phone, live chat, email, what have you. Uh, we'd be happy to answer any of your questions about this. Uh, as I said, we're going to be coming out with a bit more in-depth uh, blog post and review uh, with some riding shots and stuff here real soon. Uh, but I just want to get this guy info to you guys right away, um, just kind of show you what's going on with it, do a quick unboxing, and uh, yeah, so you get a first look at it here, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have that for you here in the next few weeks or so, but uh, until then, these are, are a ton of fun, We've ha we have them in stock already and uh, we'll continue to for, for the remainder of the year and, and beyond. So um, can't say enough about this, really excited. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments section below. You can hit that bell uh, if you wanna be notified about our other videos so you can you know get that update when we are putting down that, uh, or putting in that review and uh, maybe compare it to some other foils in the industry. Uh, be sure to click the blog uh, on the eye icon in our foil knowledge center and that will drop you to kind of a, a written overview of what we just talked about and some of the product information if you want to check out the product on our site and pricing um, which I should mention is only $9.99 uh, complete for this foil uh, which is a great deal um, anyway uh, this has been Foil Fridays with Tucker and the Neopride Glide Surf Foil if uh, you have any questions feel free to reach out